I'm on my way to Epinay in the heart of Champagne to visit the Maison Belle Epoque. The reason I'm going there is because it's home to one of the biggest collections of Art Nouveau in the world. Last year, global champagne exports totaled 2.8 billion euros, with the United Kingdom as the biggest market. This street in Epinay is home to many champagne houses, including Paul Roger, Moëté Chandon and Dom Perignon. Built in the late 18th century, the Perrier Jouet Champagne House is not open to the public, but today, Jean de Castaneau has promised me a private tour. This is beautiful. The Belle Epoque was an expression coined to describe the years of peace, progress and decadence that closed the 19th century and preceded the horrors of World War I. It was an era of parties fueled by champagne. It's also when the Art Nouveau movement was born. So let's have a closer look at the bottles. This is the original design by Émile Gallet in 1902, the famous uh, Japanese anemone. Perrier Jouet commissioned Gallet, a friend of the family and a pioneer of Art Nouveau, to create this bottle. This is the design that really inspired me to come to the Maison Belle Epoque in the first place, with its beautiful, curving, fluid Art Nouveau lines. Above the cellar, Jean's colleague Timothy Croiser takes me into the Maison Belle Epoque. This is a table by the very same Émile Gallet that has designed the bottles that you've just seen on the cellar. And here you can see the natural inspiration that has been used by Gallet. Flowers and plants and a mark very specific to Gallet itself, the dragonfly. These look a lot like the uh, anemones you see on the bottle, don't they? Exactly. During that time, Paris was the capital of culture and entertainment with a flourishing theatre and cabaret scene. <laughs> well, she's clearly having a good time, isn't she? So where does this come from? This is from the Bar Tabarin a very famous cabaret in Paris. So the real epicentre of the really decadent parties during the Belle Epoque. Certainly where all artists and partygoers used to gather. And a lot of champagne was drunk, I'm sure, as well. Adolphe Ouellette's painting is one of more than 200 Art Nouveau pieces in this house. This is Art Toulouse-Lautrec. It represents a very famous singer of the Belle Epoque era. Yvette Gilbert, with this exaggerated nose and chin, she has engraved on the painting, You little monster, you have made myself an horror. An horror, yes. Collaborations between the commercial and artistic worlds can provide income for artists and sell product for sponsors. But coming here has shown me that the results of these partnerships can not only make financial sense, they can also be rather beautiful.